What is up ladies and gentlemen, so in today's video we're going to be talking about agroforesta or in English agroforestry. Now before we start I want to kind of give you guys a little background of how I discovered this. Currently I'm living in Brazil, I've been in Brazil for one year and in the land I'm you know calling my home the people that own this land wanted to reforest the place so I kind of helped with th this process getting the trees planting them and I was researching how to take care of these trees so we were reforestering and I was just looking into how to maintain trees and how to make sure they stay healthy and this process is where I discovered agroforestry or agroforesta how they call it in Brazil and in Brazil it's pretty much most of the information is in Brazil is Portuguese and it's pretty much growing here it's probably one of the epicenters of this way of of growing food now the word agroforesta or agroforestry is the combination of the word agriculture and the word forest so what is agroforesta agroforestry known as agroforesta in portuguese is a sustainable land management system that integrates the cultivations of trees and shrubs with crops or livestock on the same piece of land. This approach seeks to optimize the benefits from various components of the system, creating a more diverse, productive, and resilient agricultural environment. So we're integrating trees, not necessarily just trees that grow fruit, but native trees or trees like eucalyptus, which is one of the more popular ones they use, that um, benefit the land. And uh, and it's also a combination of growing different species all together. So instead of just the traditional way of just growing one crop, so you're only going to be growing corn or you're only going to be growing banana. In this system, you're growing a lot of different things in the same piece of land. So what are the key features of agroforestra? Biodiversity promotes the cultivation of variety of plant species, including trees, scrubs, and crops. So as I mentioned before, you're not just going to be planting one thing. You're going to be planting diverse things. And when you look at the life cycle of a plant, some things take a while to actually give fruit, like some fruit trees. You can plant your apple trees, and you, it'll take some time before they start producing apples in the meantime you can plant other things that might be quicker like lettuces and radishes and stuff like that another feature is environmental conservation by combining trees with crops or livestock an agroforestry helps prevent soil erosion improves water conservation and contributes to to the overall environmental sustainability Another feature is economic viability, can increase overall farm productivity and income by diversifying sources of revenue. So as I mentioned before, instead of just waiting for something to produce the fruit, the fruit that you need, which could take, you know, sometimes years, in the meantime, you can start growing shorter, you can start growing crops that are a lot faster in their production. So while you wait for these banana trees or these or potatoes to grow you can have other crops that are a lot faster so you can have money coming in while you wait for the other plants to grow so another feature is soil improvement the presence of trees and other vegetation in agroforestry systems can enhance soil structure fertility and nutrient cycling so this is one of the main things that i've noticed which is a lot different from other ways of agriculture where in other ways of agriculture you kind of want the land to be clean and you only want whatever you're growing present with agroforestry it's a lot different you actually want to cover the ground with wood vegetation so the soil is actually covered with layers of organic material. This is one of the biggest difference that I've noticed um, with agroforestry compared to other ways of basically growing food. And the last feature I'm going to mention here is water management. 
trees can play a crucial role in managing managing water resources by reducing runoff, preventing soil erosion, and improving well water filtration. So as I mentioned about covering the soil with organic matter, it also helps the soil not be exposed to the sun where you can have places that is super hot and the, the soil just dries up and whatever is growing on it. But if you have layers of organic material on top of the soil, it is protected from that heat from the sun, direct exposure, and it maintains that um, moisture. And so in that essence, you don't have to water it as much. Now, one of the main figures with Agroforesta is Ernest Gosch. Now, Ernest is originally from Switzerland. I believe he studied uh, agriculture and he was able to travel to Costa Rica. And then with some time, he actually ended up being in Brazil and decided to stay here. I believe that he makes uh, he made uh, Brazil his home. And he's one of the main components that um, this whole agroforest system is is coming from. What I heard about his story is that he got some land and this land is not recommended to grow cacao and he was able to turn this piece of land into a forest as you can see I believe this is actually his piece uh, his home and he re basically turned it into a forest and he grows some of the best cacaos where typically where the area he lives in is not a region where it's known for growing cacao. And besides growing cacao, he grows all kinds of stuff. So I would definitely would recommend checking out Ernest if you want more information about this kind of way of doing agriculture. Now, Ernest usually doesn't talk about the word agroforesta. He usually uses the word centropic farming. In centropic farming, holes become nests, seeds become genes, weeding becomes harvesting. The competition gives way to cooperation and pests and disease are seen as the agents from the Department of Optimizations of Life's Processes. processes. These and other terms do not arise by chance, but rather derive from a change in the way we see, interpret, and relate to nature. Now, the way I interpret this way of farming is looking at the words. You have the word sync, and it's basically being synced with your environment and not, not necessarily imposing things to it, but have this cooperative or working with even when you look at pests, it's not necessarily you try to get rid of them, but you kind of try to see how you can work with them. And this way of farming is really interesting, is really dynamic. And as you can see, it's not about a method, but it's how you can interpret and communicate uh, with the land that you live on. So I hope this video helped you understand a little bit more of what agroforesta is and uh, I wanted to share this video because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos about this way of doing agriculture. I really got fascinated, got passionate about this and uh, yeah, so there's a lot for me to learn and there are different teachers and people bringing this forward with a little bit different techniques. How I mentioned, one of them is Ernest. This is his website. You can find a lot of information of, you know, his stuff. Another one I really like, another teacher I really like, is Antonio Gomides. And uh, he's he has his course. I'm actually taking his course. So I'll be sharing what I've been learning here in Brazil. And hopefully, you know, in some years, I'll be living in a food forest. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That was it for today. I'll see you.